I'm feeling really well. Um, body's in good shape and been doing everything I need to do to stay loose and everything's feeling really well. What's what's the timetable? What are you looking at? I'm there's no timetable. I mean, I'm healthy right now. I'm doing everything that everyone else is, uh, just like everyone. You know, I'm good to go. You, you, you know, sometimes when you get the flu or something and you and you you're unhealthy, a couple of days later you're like, oh, thank God. Is that kind of the feeling like you, you realize how good you had it a couple of years ago when your arm was free and healthy? Yeah, I think you know. Any, I've been through enough injuries, but. Uh, and you always get a little bit more perspective each time, but to miss a whole year, that was the first time for that. And to have all the different injuries that kicked in, it was just a little overwhelming. But uh, you you learn that it's a privilege to play this game. I mean, it's as simple as it's a privilege to play catch. You know, um, your arm doesn't like it sometimes, and so it's just a challenge to do that. Yeah, for you, it wasn't just one thing. It was a multitude of injuries. It was like basically everything that could go wrong did. It was a chain reaction. Uh, started with the hip surgery and. Uh, I don't know. Something just was off, and you know, went to the back, and then the elbow, and the way the chain works, it just kind of goes down the line. You you anxious to get out there on the mound, even if it's just a, a cactus league game, and kind of let it rip? Oh yeah. I mean, I've been waiting for this for a year. I mean, you know, uh, last summer I kept fighting all the way up until September to try to get back with the team, and then uh, when I went out and threw, and my elbow still hurt, and we had to have surgery, that's that's when I finally realized I wasn't going to be able to be back with the team last year, but I didn't give up, so I've been waiting on this for a long time. Yeah, I noticed, you know, you didn't have surgery until like uh, late August or early September. I mean, you must have been fighting it because the team was doing so great. Yeah, I was pushing and, um, you know, I knew we didn't have a lefty and um, I was just, I really wanted to play for our team. Uh, we were playing really well and, and watching it on TV wasn't enough for me. How hard was that? I mean, not that it wouldn't be hard if the team was struggling. You, you're an athlete. You want to play. But when they're doing as well as they're doing and there's a void at, at a spot you could provide, you know, it must have been kind of killing you, yet at the same time you're like the, the, the success they were having. Right. I mean, it. you just you love to be part of that energy and, and talking to the, some of the guys. You just knew that everyone was having fun. Um, the coaching staff, everybody was getting along really well, and uh, I wanted to be part of it. Let's talk about this year. Uh, that was last year. Um, this year's team, I mean, I know everyone talks about losing Prince, but, you know, you get Aramis. <laughs> that's not no, that's not nothing. Right, right. Yeah, I think, you know, because it's Prince Fielder and the power and the presence he has, it's hard. You can't make up for that. But um, I think we did a pretty good job, you know, with Aramis. I mean, he's hurt us on the other side, so it's nice to have him for us, and we've seen what he can do. And, I mean, he can play some defense, too, so... That'll definitely be uh, his his experience and his defense and everything put together is going to help us.